purpose of debate only, I yield the customary 30 minutes to the distinguished ranking member from Massachusetts, my good friend, Mr. McGovern, uh, pending which I yield myself as much time as I may consume. During consideration of this resolution, all time yielded is for the purpose of debate only. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all other members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. House Resolution 83 provides for consideration of two resolutions under a closed rule. They are House Concurrent Resolution 9 and House Resolution 76. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of this rule and in support of the underlying resolutions. HCON Res 9 is a simple resolution denouncing the horrors of socialism in all forms and opposes the implementation of socialist policy here in the United States. This resolution should not be controversial. Socialism is a harmful ideology that is opposed to everything the United States stands for. Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin both described and demonstrated how socialism is a transition period between capitalism and communism. And we've seen this time and time again. Socialist ideology creates a concentration of power that leads to communist regimes, totalitarian rule, and brutal dictatorships that deprive their citizens of basic freedoms and human rights. We've seen the horrors of communism through the tens of millions killed by regimes in China, the Soviet Union, North Korea, Cambodia, and elsewhere. Horrors that some of my colleagues across the aisle refused to even condemn yesterday during the Rules Committee hearing on this. Even today, hundreds of thousands of Russians, Chinese, Cambodians, Koreans, Cubans, and Venezuelans have fled from murderous communist dictatorships and have legally resettled here in the United States. They are a living testament to the barbarity of these socialist regimes and the promise of the American dream. It's essential that Congress condemn the atrocities committed in the name of socialism and prevent any socialist policies from being implemented in the United States. Additionally, the rule be 